I'm Roxy and I'm the office manager and project worker and I've been with Bolsom about four and a half years now. Okay, so uh, my name is Sadie and I am the project development manager at Balsam Family Project, which means I get to share with lots of people about how wonderful Balsam is, <laughs> which I love doing. I'm Jane and um, I'm a volunteer at Balsam and I'm a tutor on the college um, course, level two course, and I take a group um, for personal growth and development. My name is Andrew Hayes, I'm uh, one of the uh, people who help found uh, Forsen Family Project and I'm now the Chair of the Trustees. Well, my name is Julie and I'm a um, CFF um, volunteer and I also um, help out and support on a Saturday morning um, with coffee. My name is Caroline Haynes. Um, I was a community family friend for about three and a half years, a little while ago now. Um, I do the DBS checks, um, I do catering, so I help with the, the big social events and I try and help as well with volunteering uh, to fundraise. I think I really like that it just approaches people for who they are and it accepts everyone. No one's kind of left out. Anyone can come and join us. Um, and just, yeah, I just really like how we help families and that we come to them as individuals, not as, you know, just all families are the same. Everyone's, everyone's unique. I think because Balsam is it's not just a service to the community, it, it's growing community. That's what I like about it. It's seeing um, families grow closer to one another, but also make friends with other families and make friends with volunteers. And it's got a real sense of everyone taking care of one another. Um, I really like that it's a friendly, welcoming environment for us to come and get to know people. And I made some really good friends. And um, my children really enjoy coming and it's just a nice, friendly, safe place to be. I think it's a great project. I think there are um, a lot of families who don't have extended family around them uh, and it provides that kind of support network for them. I think the project is really good at valuing people for who they are, not for what they do. Um, it's a very loving, caring community and um, it's great to be part of that. Well, I think it's great. It's getting together with people locally and the fantastic facilities for the children who are looked after while we do the group work. Um, and then we get back together and we share um, a meal together at the end. I think it's a genuine charity um, that really gets involved with the families. Um, I like the way it's committed to the families, not just for short time periods, but for a long time. I think it's something that's really important to me. Uh, it meets a real need in our community. Um, there is overwhelming evidence that uh, if families are, are well supported in the early years, they stick together, children have more meaningful childhoods, they go on to be more responsible adults, and they then go on to be better parents. So I think it's just a really powerful work. It's made quite a big difference with me with my son. Um, it, you know, being able to interact with lots of other families and share experiences and learn from each other both ways. And also it's just helped me form better relationship with people and, and learn a bit more about how people interact and, and get to know each other. I think um, Balsam changes your perspective. I think it's definitely helped me see the value of every single different role within the family and how important each role is and that the difference that's made by valuing each other's role in the family um, it just has a big impact. Uh, in lots of lots of ways um, I work in London uh, in a very affluent place and it's a real reminder of need not just um, in other countries but right on our doorstep. It gives me a practical way that I can serve people just in simple things like helping to cook food and, and practical uh, uh, fundraising and talking to people and um, it gives me a sense of doing something that's meaningful as well. Being involved in Balsam and being a tutor has really challenged me and stretched me and kind of put me out of my comfort zone but it's been a really positive experience and um, I've gained a lot of confidence in my own abilities. I th oh, it's just been a good experience. Um, been lots of opportunity to meet some amazing families, volunteers, um, the training, really good training, um, so that's helped on my own career and things. 
but yeah, just being involved generally, I think um, it's just been a good positive experience. I think it's made me far more aware of the needs in the community. Um, I didn't realise just some of the difficulties that young families face these days. And so it's made me more aware. It's made me more aware as well of the networks that there are, um, even beyond Balsam, that can provide support. So that's been useful as well. And I have to say, I've been very touched by the people who volunteer and work for Balsam, just from their passion, commitment and care to the families, the amount of time they give and the love they share. And um, yeah, I feel really proud to be part of that family, and even in a small part. I think if someone was thinking of volunteering, I'd say go for it. Um, if you've got a heart for family and seeing family grow stronger and feel more part of their community, um, then yeah, please think about volunteering. I'd say give it a go. I think that one of the best things about being involved in a local charity like Balsam is there are so many different ways to help. Um, nobody's asking you to, uh, you know, <clears throat> to make a lifetime commitment. You can come along and uh, do practical things like uh, offering lifts, uh, helping with refreshments, right way through to fundraising, to being active in our college, our childcare, befriending people, uh, helping taking people along to church, uh, praying, and there are just so many different ways to get involved that it's a it's a really easy project to be a part of. Um, I think there's loads of ways that people can get involved and not to be scared or hesitate to do that because the Balsam team are really encouraging and will find the best place to use your skills and are really supportive. I'd say go for it. It's lots of fun. If you enjoy um, playing with young children and toddlers, that's great. And if, if you enjoy getting to know people as well and sharing your life with them, then it's a fantastic thing to do. I would say definitely get involved. Um, yeah, without a doubt. It's just, um, again, it's a, it's a good way to um, meet people, um, support people in a positive way. Um, you become sort of um, part of the it's a way of helping the families to become part of the community, give them um, a good experience. The training was really, really helpful um, and those who are leading are always a fun call away so if there are any issues I could always speak to them. I still find it a very rewarding uh, thing to be part of because as we said, small things can um, uh, just give someone a lot of help. I think there's, what's great is that there's something for everybody, there's lots of different ways you can get involved, so even if you don't feel that confident working directly with families, there's, there's a way to be a part of the group and it's a great team to work with, so yeah, volunteer. <laughs> when we hear about how people's lives can be touched and changed, it's hard for our hearts not to be moved. Please consider supporting us in some way. You could give financially, you could give of your time regularly, or you could just occasionally come along and support us at social events and backpacking. Becoming a member of Balsam Family Project could change your life just as it has for so many of us. Thank you for taking the time to share in what we're doing and listen to what we have to say.